Okay, uh, welcome sa to ang sample problem number two for the design for flexure and shear sa itong mechanics of deformable bodies. Okay, so let's proceed sa to ang uh, second sample. So here we have a laminated beam, five planks, each is six inches by two inches. So sa isa ka beam, we have a laminated beam, and then gikombine siya, gila, sa buta ng laminated, ang kaning series of beams were glued together. Ang size sa isa plank is, that is 6 inches by 2 inches for each plank. So overall, kalima man siya plank, so na beam nga na form as 6 inches by 10 inches high nga beam. So here we have uh, given allowable shear stresses, so we should take down or take note of them. So, the allowable shear stress for the glue is 90 pounds per square inch or 90 psi. Next, the allowable shear stress for the wood is 120 psi or pounds per square inch. Then, the um, allowable flexural stress for the wood is 1,200 psi or pounds per square inch. To so, take note that this problem is not in metric system but in imperial system, that's why we uh, and here in the parallel system, we use the inch, the pounds, and the foot sa to ang analysis. And the, so, uh, as it's a given na shear stresses and the flexural or bending stress, we were asked to determine the maximum uniformly distributed load. So, this is the omega. And then, carried by the uh, beam on a six feet simple span. So, the length of the beam is six feet. This is a simple span, and we are tasked to look or to search for the maximum omega. So omega stands or symbolizes for the maximum uniformly distributed load. Okay, so uh, remember the formula for our shear stress, Fv is equal to Vq over Ib. And that for our also maximum shear stress for rectangles, that is 3V over 2B times D. And then for our maximum flexural or bending stress for rectangular sections is 6 times moment, 6M over BD squared. So first, uh, as you notice, atong pangita ang announce diri, we have already the base and also the depth, na 6 by 10 or and then, but uh, we don't know the shear V and then the moment M. So, atong ba ito is, we, have, uh, we are given a simple span man ako, no? So, let's draw a simple span. And then, we have a reaction 1 on the left and reaction 2 on the right. So, the length of this uh, simple span is equal to 6 feet. So, take note of the units. Uh, and then, dapat, kanang united siya, and then there is a unity. And then, there is a uniformly distributed load. So, we have a uniformly distributed load for the beam. Omega. So this is our uniformly distributed load, Omega. So, by symmetry, so, mura lang ito nga ang kuano, load nga Omega. So, matik-matik on draw, we can see that the reaction 1 is just equal to Omega times L over 2. Which is atong L is 6. So, Omega times 6 over 2 is equal to 3 Omega. So, atong reactions is just 3 Omega. 3 Omega. Now, let's draw our shear and moment diagram para magamit na to sa atong formula here. Diba? We need to get the shear V and the maximum moment M. So from this uh, given uh, values, we can solve for the shear diagram and the moment diagram. So uh, for, for not as, as a kuan, just a shear diagram. So we have a shear here, pasaka. This is the three omega, and then kabalumanta that there is a zero degree load sa ibabaw. So, itong line is a first degree line. And then, we have a negative 3 omega here. Tapos, itong uh, moment diagram will look like this. Ano, no, bro, lang, ano, but it will look like that. 
Ang uh, tanda na itong moment is just the area of the shear. So, kanina nga area is equal lang po dyan sa area diri. But opposite lang ang ilahang uh, signs or direction or magnitude. So, we have uh, our moment is just equal to area sa shear. That is 1 half base. So, L over 2 because katunga man siya. L over 2 base times height na 3 omega. So, atong final answer. Atong L is 6, so that is 6 divided by 2. So, atong maximum moment is 4.5 omega. So, ito na inote di. Maximum shear is uh, 3 omega pounds. This is in pounds. So, take note of the units, no? And then, atong maximum moment is 4.5 omega. And then, this is in pound foot. So, let's check first the bending uh, stress. So, ang allowable or maximum nga bending stress for rectangular section is 6m over bd squared. So, ganong maximum ang itong gigamit? So, may nga rin tag allowable. So, diya ara kutub, no? Diya ara ang taman or diya ara ang limit sa stress na pwede na ma-experience ani ni wood. So, here for our bending, uh, limit natin is 1,200. Pasabot mo niyang kinadakan, mo niyang maximum nga, here, uh, mo niyang maximum nga, lectural stress. So, substituting the values given above, we have, for the bending stress, we have 1,200 uh, pounds per square in. And then, 6 times M ang itong moment again, that is 4.5 omega. Ang unit is pound foot. Over, uh, over, over uh, BD squared. Base na to is 6 inches. And then, ang ato ang depth is uh, 10 inch squared. So, kung yung tarano, there is a uh, left side, makancel ni si pounds, so si pounds there is a right side. And is si square inch there, sa left side, makancel ang square inch there nga side. And then we convert this inch into koan, into foot. We have 12 inch per 1 foot. Makancel si inch, makancel si feet. So uh, summarizing, we have uh, 6 divided by 6. Makancel kaya po ni si 6. So we have, ang mabili na lang diri natay 1,200 equal to 4.5 omega times 12 over 100. So, kanin 100 gika nini? 10 squared. From this one, natin masolve nga omega, which is equal to 2,222.22 pounds per foot. When omega, due to the bending uh, stress. Allowable bending stress. Next one is for the wood na bending So next is ato ang i-consider na put is the shear stress due to the wood. Okay. So natay uh, shear stress due to wood is equal to 120 pounds per square inch na daw kuno. So, kung say, uh, okay, so, sa wood mo daw kuno as a whole, so, gamito na to ang maximum nga shear stress for a rectangular section that is 3V over 2B D. So, itong shear stress that is 120 pounds per square inch. And then, uh, if you remember, ito ang maximum shear is equal to 3 omega, and then this is in pound. Is equal to 3 times ato ang V is 3 omega pounds. All over, 2 times ato ang base is 6 inches. Times ato ang depth is 10 inches. This is for the whole na kuan, beam. So, there is a right, maka form ni siya square inch. So, maka sa ng square inch diri, maka sa ng siyang pound. So, uh, what do we still do we have? We have a, uh, to summarize, we have a 120 is equal to 3 times 3 omega 
over 2 times 6 times 10. So from this one, natin makuha nga omega, which is equal to 1,600 pound per foot. So, mo ni siya, no, due to kuan, she is stressed of the wood. Next na put is, ang last is, uh, she is stressed due to the glue. So, gamitan na nato ng VQ over IB because uh, dili naman siya whole wood ang iyang ginakonsider. So, if you look at the plank, uh, plank uh, laminated beam here on the right side, so, asa man dapit ang maximum nga shear mag-occur sa glue na side. So, we know that magkadool gani ang uh, fiber sa neutral axis mas magkadako ang shearing stress. So, natin nakaglue ring aside sa ibabaw and then apunti nakaglue ring aside sa ikaduha. So, asa may mas dakog shearing stress nila? The one that is uh, the nearest sa kuan sa neutral axis. And then, looking at this one, Ang ato ang, uh, the one with the maximum shearing stress is on this glue. So, sa may buha to na to, anak. So, from that one, na di take Q nga, paon bago a Q. So, this will be our Q, kanitibok ng area. And ang ato ang Y is, kana, kagikan uh, silang centroid sa area, pa ingun sa neutral act. So, this is, so, kung natay 2 diri, and then natay 1 diri, so, ato din y is 3 inches. Okay, so, itong area is, base is 6 inches, times yung height is uh, 4 inches, times ang y bar is 3 inches. So, overall, ato ang q is 72 cubic inch. 72 cubic uh, next, ang ato ang i, paon na to na to. So that is just equal to 1 over 12 bd cube, which is equal to 1 over 12 times atong base is 6 inches, times ang depth is uh, 10 inch inches cube. So natin makuha ang kuan, depth nga, uh, sorry, ah, uh, Ang bed of inertia nga, 500 inch to the fourth. Okay, we have the I, we also have the B. Ito ang B lang yapon is just the base, that is 6 inches because kanyang nga length diri kwa sa ang horizontal shear is 6 inches. Ito na substitute. Ang kuan, ang value, so we have FV for the shearing stress for the glue is 90 pounds per square inch is equal to, ato ang V is 3 omega pounds, times ato ang Q is we have 72 inch cube over IB that is 500 inch to the fourth times 6 inches. Okay. So there is a cube, makansan ng cube, we have inch, inch squared here. Then, makancel yung isa ka-inch diri. Kung diri sa pitas, we have all 2 pounds here, makancel. So, uh, to summarize, we have 90 is equal to 3 omega times 72 over 500 over uh, 500 times uh, 6. Okay, when I rearrange, we can have, we can solve that our you know, uniformly distributed load for this one is 1,250 pounds per foot. So, now, tayo to look at uh, uh, uniformly distributed load. For the maximum flexural stress, ato ang um, allowable maximum ng uniformly distributed load is 2,222.22 pounds per foot. Uh, 
this is for the wood. And then for our maximum shear stress for the wood, na tay omega nga 1,600 pounds per foot. Allowable. And then for our shearing stress uh, for the glue due to the glue, ato ang uh, maximum shearing stress is 1,250 pounds per foot. So among the three, ang safest load na itong pwede ra mabutang dadto without compromising the laminated beam and then para safe siya, uh, mukiter siya sa ano sa strength uh, depende according to the flexural or to the shear sa kada beam is the omega na 1,250 pounds per foot. So this should be the maximum uniformly distributed load na ipakere sa beam. Eh, kung imong ikuan, gamito ni si 1,600, kung si glue kay yung tamang na maka is 1,250, pasabot mo fail si beam. Eh, kung yung samot na imong gamito ni si 2,000, kung imong gamito si 2,000, kung ang makayara ni wood according sa yung shear is 1,600 and then ni glue is 1,250, samot mo fail si beam. So, itong answer for this sample problem is 1,250 pounds per 